Okay, this ain't no joke, y'all. Um, Craig's in the kitchen cooking dinner and he's making pizza which uh, st. Louis is known for its pizza real thin crust really really good and Craig makes some of the best homemade pizza so I'm gonna see if I can catch him off guard come on Hey, Craig, what are you doing? Are we vlogging? <laughs> yes. We're vlogging, okay. Hi. I'm making pizza. Okay. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm videoing you. Do you want me to tell you what I'm doing? Okay. Yes, tell me what you're doing. I get you. Be on, okay. No, you don't have to be um, on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm making pizza. I've already made the dough. It is super secret recipe. Um... I've got my toppings I like to take and saute my toppings ahead of time so that they're kind of all sauteed together. I don't like to do that thing where you just put the pizza toppings on and then bake the pizza. I like to kind of prepare them a little bit. Um, tonight, just so you know, I've actually cheated and bought like pre, pre cooked sausage and stuff like that. So usually I'm doing everything <laughs> completely from scratch, but. And I even bought pizza sauce because we've been really busy. So um, but I usually make my own sauce. It takes hours, and I didn't prepare it. So, but anyway, so I'm doing that, and I'm getting ready to pound out the dough. This is good timing. You get to watch me do that. Woohoo! I cleaned the surface with vinegar water, so it's clean and non-toxic. I used to work at Domino's long, many moons ago. So. Back when you were a young man? Back when I was a young man. <laughs> yes, back when I was a young man. Um, so, I powder the, the counter and and this and, may, and the dough. And I make myself a round pile of dough. And then you start with your hands like this. You lock your thumbs. And you use your fingertips. So you have to kind of curl your fingertips just a little bit, best you can. And when you press this, you press and pull so that you're pulling the outer edge in. And you, as you do that, you also turn. I used to be satisfied, stayed over the surface. Now I just can't get enough. You make me feel good like no other. I just want everyone to see what I've discovered. And when I'm with you, I go higher. You lift me up, now I can see so much farther. Beyond the horizon. Beyond the horizon. Mm. I'm a butterfly who has only begun. Taking me a while to get it. Had to live and cry to appreciate life. And what you give is worth it. When you're holding me, when you hold me so close. I want further in under your skin. Wanna leave a mark so that I can be sure that you remember what's been. I used to be satisfied. Stayed over the surface. Now I just can't get enough.
when there is more in life that I want. Hi, welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> you timed that just perfectly. Mm -hmm. Making pizza's hot work. <laughs> <laughs> okay, a couple things. First of all, this has been in the oven about five, six minutes. And so oh, I look, the dogs are coming to help. I'm going to overcook it, but I want to just get a little bit of, um, make it a little not doughy. So you can kind of pick it up and move it around. Um, so anyway, enough of that. We've got our pizza. Um, I'm gonna lay this down so that we don't burn things. I'm gonna get one of these. Handy trick, by the way, hang them in there. It's really nice, it really works. <laughs> yeah, for all you people who need space saving tips, yeah. pot holders on the back of your cabinet pot doors. The back of the cabinet yeah, door. those are just little octopus hooks. They work yeah, great. It, it works wonderful. So I have this. Um, I need a spoon. I don't have one, so can Here. you give me a big giant spoon? Like a wooden? No, the big uh, metal one out of that drawer. Thank you. Sorry, I'm making him do double duty. So the camera's going crazy with my fault. This camera has a good stabilizer, thank big goodness. Spoon. <laughs> a bigger one's even better, but or a ladle, flat, flat bottom ladle. But you just pour it on. Depends on how much sauce you like. But the flat spoon coming close, that flat spoon allows you to spread nice and evenly. Isn't that nice? It is nice. See, just in case people ever wonder how you get that. You can put That's more sauce not. on there. You want more <laughs> sauce? I like sauce. <laughs> well, this is a thinner sauce than I, I usually do, so. I don't want all the pizza toppings to slide off. Oh, that's true. Okay. So we're going to stop right there. Um, and because it's a thinner sauce, you have thicker sauce, it's not a big deal. Because it's a thinner sauce, that's why Parmesan cheese was invented. It blends with your sauce, gives you that other layer of cheesy flavor, and put it on first. It kind of helps soak up the sauce. and it, Well, it, it binds together yeah. and kind of keeps it in place. Um, for me, I use, have this here, where I've blended together some sausage, onions, and mushrooms. Um, like I said, I usually make my own sausage, don't judge me. <laughs> so I have this, and I'm going to just, let me shake it all around. Mozzarella cheese. Okay, now you're gonna you're gonna want to go live for this one. Mm -hmm. Welcome to St. Louis. We have in St. Louis what you call Provel cheese. It is, or referred to as roped Provel. And it's roped Provel because they cut they do it in these roped things. It's a combination of, uh, it's for Emo's Pizza, they now market the cheese, but it's a combination of provolone, provolone, white cheddar, white cheddar, and Swiss. It's amazing. It's a softer cheese, low melting point. Um, it's got a little bit of a funky, bittery cheese flavor, um, where some are more sweet, some are more, um, you know, Velveeta-y. This is not. So I don't like to go overboard on my cheese just because I do like to use a couple of different types, but it also makes your cheese slippery and slidey. So 
What do you think? More? Maybe a little. Yeah, that's good. Okay, we're going to do a quick batch of this. Do the edges. Nothing worse than having your, your toppings separate from your crust. And there's a reason you put your cheese next to the crust. It actually helps it from separating. Okay. Very lightly. Sorry. You're going to have to watch another trick. I always use one of these because it makes precision a lot better when you're trying to put it into a pan, into your pizza. <coughs> I usually just keep it filled. We ran out recently. So. And you just dribble. That's the secret to crust. You have to, you have to olive oil it. That's why everything you make doesn't taste like it does in the, in the restaurants. You put it in about 15 minutes. We okay. Here we go. Pulling the pizza out. Oh, it got very done. But I think I oh no, just that's in time. perfect. <laughs> that is perfect. Gonna be a little crispy on the edge. Mm -hmm. See, in St. Louis, pizza is thin and cracker crisp. Cracker crisp. Look at that. The cheese. The, the cheese bubbling. Ooh. Yum. See that. <laughs> what <laughs> what <laughs> so it's sunday night um you know it's it, been a long weekend of of shooting film uh running errands doing all kinds of stuff um you know and getting ready for next work week and everything so sunday night we got pizza <laughs> and disney movies so tonight it's all about pizza and Lilo and Stitch. <laughs> so all I got to say, all I got to say is, if you haven't already, go find your truly remarkable pizza. <laughs> go find your truly remarkable life. <laughs> hey there, if you like what you just saw and want to get to know us better, click the link to our Get to Know Us video. Please subscribe by clicking our logo on the left, and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Thanks!